Hello, and welcome to worship this Sunday after Christmas and the last Sunday of 2020. I'm Hannah Norton. I'm a member of the Board of Parish Ministry, and this is one of several services throughout the year that we coordinate. Today we'll have a variety of um, beautiful musical offerings and readings, and Daniel Webster will continue our worship theme of the parables of Christmas by sharing his sermon, White Bear. You're welcome to join Daniel for coffee hour and conversation at 1230 on Zoom. And I'd like to remind you that the church office will be closed this week, but you can always contact a minister in case of a pastoral emergency. And looking forward to next Sunday, January 3rd, we will invite your drive-by donations to support Food First and donations of blankets, jackets, and coats for Grace Marketplace. Also next Sunday, we'll have an epiphany celebration and a seminar with Jackie Davis. We have a number of folks to hold in light and prayer today. We pray for Lois Johnston, sister of Margaret Johnston, who is recovering in rehab following a stroke. For Lindsay Telg, who is recovering at home following foot surgery. For Marie Miller, age 99, Tony Miller's mother, who has tested positive for COVID-19 in Tuscaloosa. For Mary Clark, who is continuing treatment for cancer and seeking treatment for vision problems. And finally, for Josh Hammond, new member and Bromley's husband, who has also tested positive with COVID-19. Let us join together in prayer. Loving God, we give thanks for the gifts of this Christmas season. While our gatherings and traditions have not all been the same, we still feel the hope, the peace, the joy, and the love that come every Christmas. May we carry these promises with us into our coming challenges and adventures. Comforter God, we pray for those in our community who could use an extra measure of peace and light today. We pray for all those who face illness and pain, for Lois, Lindsay, Marie, Mary, and Josh. We pray that they might find healing and strength and be surrounded by your love and ours. And as we look towards a new year, may we find courage in new beginnings and feel your presence with us always. Amen. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. The shepherds stood there watching for silent flocks by night. Behold, above the heaven. There shone a holy light. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. The shepherds feared and trembled. When low above the earth rang out the angel chorus that hailed our Savior's birth. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. Down in a lowly manger, our humble Christ was born. God sent us salvation that blessed Christmas morn. Go tell it on the mountain over the hills and everywhere go tell it on the mountain that jesus christ is born go tell it on the mountain over the hills and everywhere go tell it on the mountain that jesus christ is
Hi, I'm Hannah. Today we're talking about how stories are important to us across different times and in different places. So I'm going to read this book, I Am the Story, by Dan Yaccarino. I am a story. I was told around a campfire, then painted on cave walls, I was carved onto clay tablets and told in pictures. I was written on papyrus and printed with ink and woodblocks, then woven into tapestries and copied into big books to illuminate minds. I was printed and bound, then acted out on stage. I was read in vast private libraries, then in public libraries open to everyone, and in places you'd never imagine. I made people frightened, excited, sad and happy. I was censored, banned and burned, but did not die. I inspired millions. I can go with you everywhere. And I will never and I will live forever. I am a story.